one is Di here from Di's Den and here's number five. The last one of the table favours. Christmas table favours. This one holds four of these um, Mercy chocolates and I just think it's so gorgeous. And it's just another nice one. You could Again, you could put a name here rather than Merry Christmas as I've done there. But it's up to you entirely and I just think it's such a lovely little thing you could give these away as a gift to somebody especially somebody in a nursing home or something like that that would just appreciate a couple of chocolates and enjoy life for a change okay so let's pop that on one side and let's tell you what you need it's very very much very minimal amount so we've got a piece of card that measures seven and a half by four if I put my glasses on I might be able to read this you know and then two pieces of designer series paper that measure two and three quarters by two and a half and two and three quarters by seven eighths of an inch. So they go that way. I have a tag here that I've already um, done the flag towel, ta uh, fish towel end on and this measures um, three, it well, was three inches by three quarters of an inch. Um, so that's big enough to put my Merry Christmas on. Let's do that now so that's out of the way because cherry cobbler takes a fair while to dry some days. Uh, so let's pop that onto there. That will sit down there and dry now while we're doing the rest of it. I used my sprig punch and I punched out out of some scraps that I had two um, green and one silver sprigs just for helping to decorate the front of the card. So that's all we need. So let's get the scoreboard and let's score away. So on the long side, we're going to score this, making sure you got your pen up the right, got your stylus up the right way, short end, the uh, smallest end for the card stock. And we're going to score this at one inch. one and a half inches and four and a half inches. I'm then going to turn it onto the short side and we're going to score this at a half an inch and three and a half inches. And that's all the scoring we're going to do. Oops, come on, off of there. Sorry, I moved the camera. Oh dearie me. Let's get this all straightened out again. <laughs> Fancy doing that. There we go. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold and burnish all these score lines. So, because cherry cobbler is quite thick, I think that the um, dye they use must really, really give the card a lot more um, thickness. It always seems so much thicker to me than the other card. Okay, so that's our card and it's all scored and now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of cutting. So at the short end here, where we've got the two small ends, we've got a long end this side, we're going to just cut at these two squares and notch them. In. Oh, get off of there. At this end we're going to actually cut this piece right off down to the next score line like so. I'm going to do that on both sides. Oops, I didn't cut that very straight did I? I'm trying to cut the wrong way round for me. There we go, that's better. And then from here down, we need to just, using a pencil and a ruler if you like, you can measure that piece, which is three inches, so about halfway, so about the one and a half inch mark. Just put a little mark on the outside there, 
and at the one and a half inch mark put a little mark on the outside there and then we're going to cut from there down to that mark like so so I should have put that mark on the other side and then I would have been able to do it a bit better let's just do that a one and a half inch mark whoops there we go and then I can see that and so from that corner just down on an angle to that piece there so you've just shaped it in like so uh, it now looks like that when it's laying down flat. You have two little flaps here. This flap comes in and straight. Okie dokie. So now what we need to do is we need to, to glue this one down flat on top of there. We're going to do that first. in at the sides and we're going to pop glue on them and glue that side down to it, the back edge. Because this is actually very very tight feeling you know this is how it goes together really yucky like yeah. come on what does we do with this one that's it that's better okay so this one here we are actually going to glue this to the back of the inside so I've actually cut this a little bit short by the looks of things so we'll bring that up to the top so because you won't see down in that very bottom piece just down in there anyway so it doesn't matter if it's a little bit shorter as long as you've got that in the right place and while that's sitting there like that we might as well do the front one at the same time before we do the side panels so this piece is then going to go across the front here like so We're now going to pop some more glue on these side bits here and bring that up and fold that around the side to make a little box shape. And do this one the same and we will nearly be finished. <laughs> okay, so we won't finish those and now we're going to just pop these on here, we're going to glue these onto the front of the card, I might only just put the two I think so like so just enough to just to give it something on the front, that's all it is once we've done that we can pop our pin back in our glue which is getting harder and harder to put in and we can just pop our little saying on the front with a few dimensions. And pop that onto the front. As I say, you could put, instead of putting Merry Christmas across the front here, you could easily put somebody's name there so that it wasn't, um, looks cute with their name for the table a few little things that go on this here look, look I've got them all over my finger so I'm going to pop that one there pop that one back that's it you stay there <laughs> and because I haven't got any more chocolates out here because it's looking quite warm today I'm going to just pop these ones in here so you can see these fit in here just beautifully and that's our little table favour. That's the last one for this season in the table favours. I hope you've enjoyed doing that. 
this one I actually made a little bit longer than the original box so that's why it's that looks a bit shorter Oops. but I actually think it looks really great and I love it it's sort of just that little something to put on the table again so I hope you've enjoyed this you will find the tutorial for this at die stands for stamping crafting and tutorials and it will go live the same day as the um, video does so if you would like it it's in inches that I say tell you on here but I also put the centimeters so if you work in centimeters that's fine I don't have a problem with that if you know I've, I've put it all on the same um, tutorial so I hope you will have a go please let me know how you, what you feel give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this if not thumbs up fine I'm happy with that everybody's to their own and I will see you again next time bye